Okay, just wanted to make uh, an update video, tell you what's going on with my diet. So as you could see from my uh, recent videos, I've been making a lot of bread. So I think I decided to try to uh, get down to my goal weight of 75 kilos and then below, below that, uh, eating, eating a lot of bread. It might sometimes I'll be still eating a lot of potatoes and beans and other things, still start solution, but I want to incorporate a lot more bread because it's fun to bake and sometimes it tastes really good. I might get sick of it and then I'll slow down, but I, I also want to show that you don't need to be afraid of bread, like I'm sure some people are, um, and probably I used to be afraid of it too. Um, but if you, if the starch solution works for you, if, you know, if eating, you know, a low fat, lots of starch, for your calories and your protein and a lot of greens for your micronutrients and other vegetables then it's you know it's not it's not much of a stretch to um to incorporate bread as your as you know as your starch sources and a lot of people do that so it's fun to um it's definitely fun to bake and so you, you saw my recipes it's it's just amazing and uh, everyone should learn how to do it and when you're making your own bread, you definitely feel a connection to the past and uh, how people used to live and the process of, of rising, kneading bread, rising it, and the chemical reactions and the smells and the textures and just the wonderful, you know, product, you know, coming out of your oven. It's amazing. Um, and I eat it with butter, you know. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes really good. It's probably a good idea. I need to learn how to make hummus. But um, bread is an amazing thing. And it's this, you know, the world has got such a rich history of it. And it's a staple. And this is the staff of life. And, um, it's, and it's just, it's something that, you know, that is a foundation of civilization. And it's very handy it's very great tasting it's wonderful so the fact that people are scared of it is kind of sad now and i think so what i wanted to do was just to you know show some people not everyone's going to believe me right i mean there are some people that probably you know there are some people that just aren't going to do well you know on this diet for whatever reason but high carb low fat starch solution but you know um it's a shame because it's such a it's a wonderful way to eat and because it's just, uh, you don't worry about things. I mean, it's simple. You don't overthink your diet. You just, you know, you're eating rice and vegetables, you're eating starch and vegetables, you're eating bread and vegetables. You know, you know, uh, when it, you know, when, when you have success on it and you see how it works, you go, yeah, you know, you're getting all your nutrition and you're not afraid of anything. And it's just simple. You know, you go, okay, that's, you know, you eat your bread to get your protein, right? And all your other vegetables. Whereas I see it all the time. You see it, you know, how many times have you seen it when you're shopping? The guy in front of you is just buying mounds of meat. And, you know, God knows what he's thinking. But I know it's what, it's what, they, um, it's what all the marketing has done to us. You know, Dr. John McDougall talks about it. But it's that idea where it just gets in people's heads that they have to have meat for protein, or, you know, or nuts or this or that, you know, everything's got this special reason you have to eat it, which, you know, it's not really true. If you take chronometer and put in, you know, your bread and you put in your vegetables, I'm sure you're 100% of everything. So, uh, okay, you might need to mix up some of your starches, but, you know, it's not complicated. You don't need to think about it very much. So that's the whole point. So I'm going to be... Um, I'm just going to be uh, making more bread, learning. I want to make ciabatta next. I'm going to continue eating the smoothies, drinking the smoothies. i got to go to the store. i got to go to 7-Eleven to go get some uh, bananas. Right now it's raining, so I'm just going to walk over there. i got some rain gear. And, uh, and that's about it. So I'll show you my, my graphs, and hopefully they keep going down.